Video games are the greatest form of entertainment, with something suitable for all ages. And to be honest, looking at you, I bet you've played a few in your lifetime. Am I right? Am I right? Anyway, is it the best form of entertainment? I certainly think so, but let me know down below. Anyway, as you can tell, I adore video games. The brilliantly crafted stories with interwoven plot points, a diverse cast of characters, and excellent gameplay. I love the art that video games are nowadays. Beautiful vistas, detailed character models, and cutscenes so realistic you think they were live action. So here, I aim to outline and talk about my history with video games from 1999 to 2023. So here we go, my history of gaming. So being born in 99 and having a brother who was and still is, well, when he's allowed, a gamer, I was introduced to them from a very early age. And I would first like to talk about my first PC, well, our PC, because we had a family computer back in 2000 or whatever. We had it before I was born anyway. And my first memory of playing any video game, the first one is of some Toy Story game played as Buzz Lightyear in some kind of platforming type of thing. For the life of me, I can't find what the game is for love and the money. And whenever you died, it just ended with... No. There are also a lot of old CBBS games I used to play on the PC, you know, RIP Flash. And every Christmas there was this elf game they had where you have to collect presents on three conveyor belts and put them in Santa's sleigh. Y yeah, it doesn't take that much to entertain me, you know. I can just look at grass and be happy for hours. Now so let's get into real gaming with my first ever console, the PS1. No, 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 no. PS1, the PS, like, spell it O-N-E, one. Yeah, that one, small one. One of the greatest consoles ever, a truly revolutionary piece of hardware that I didn't play much. I don't even know if it was mine, but anyway, it was in the house. Same as a Dreamcast we had, you know, it was someone else's. But anyway, the only game I even played on it was A Bug's Life. Yet, yeah, out of all the PlayStation classics, I played Bugs Life. It's actually a pretty alright game, having to collect the letters to spell out Flick, you know, the main guy. I was never able to finish the level with the bird, but was fun nonetheless. Maybe one day I'll finish it, but to this day, yeah, I haven't. Here we start getting bigger, better, more graphics with the Xbox One. Well, not the Xbox One, but the Xbox... Right, why are you doing the same fucking joke again, man? Couldn't come up with anything else, could you? It's not funny. Oh, shut up, man. Fine, the original Xbox. My first ever games console, that was purely for me. Now, this was like 2006 when I got this, so the 360 had already released, but I didn't know or care. I was happy with my Xbox with my games such as Turok Evolution, which, honestly, right, Going back and watching gameplay today, like, wow, I thought this looked like real life, and look at it. B305 with legends like Ronaldinho, Kaka, and of course, Emil Heskey. I remember that whenever I would play kickoff, I'd always pick England, and I would always sub Heskey off for David Beckham. I mean, I don't know why Heskey was on and Beckham was on the bench, but that's what I did every game. It was also a FIFA game before Ultimate Team, and those stupid FIFA packs which idiots spend way too much money on because they're gambling. I get... Neymar! I got Neymar! Yes! But my three favourite games were, in reverse order, in three. Shrek Super Slam, a top-down fighting game playing as the infamous Shrek characters, like the Donkoys. In two. My first Sonic game, Sonic Heroes. Yet again, never finished it, but I loved the gameplay, and sorry, but Shadow's team was and is the best, you know, can't wait for Sonic 3. And... Probably a lot of young 20s' favourite game from around this time, The Simpsons Hit and Run. Now, you've probably seen countless other videos explaining how great this game was, so I won't talk too much, but wow, 
Seven-year-old me fell in love that day with gaming and would play it for hours on end after school on my little match of the day inflatable chair. And sometimes with my best friend from school taking turns playing. It was the first games console that I loved and it's still one of my favourite consoles and one of my most important consoles of all time. And for the Simpsons hit and run, I think we could all agree it deserves a remaster. That's right, the Wii! The most family-oriented games console ever. Never before had we seen a console connect a family like this before. And this was the console me and my parents would play together. Me and my mum would be on Wii Sports, whereas me and my dad would be casting round Mushroom Gorge on Mario Kart Wii. So happy it's back on Mario Kart 8, by the way. It was a great bonding moment for me and my parents, as we would have so much fun playing with each other, and, well, me winning, especially at tennis. But... That wasn't all, there was Wii Play, a personal favourite of mine, but for me, the best Wii game is actually Ice Age 3. Now I'm a huge Ice Age fan, and the first three movies are some of my favourite animated movies ever. So when my mum, or dad, I don't remember who bought me this game, when they got it, I loved it. Yet again, another game I could not finish, you know, got to the final level but couldn't complete it for some reason. You know, I think I got like 75% of the way through, just died over and over. But anyway, another one to go back to sometime in the future. But the Wii overall is my favourite console up to this point and really brought the family together, unlike my next console. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been part one of my entire history of gaming. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you did, you know, and make sure you tune in next week for part two. So as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.